In this video, I'm going to talk about the types of effects that may be observed in a mixed design ANOVA. And I mentioned here that there are three types of effects that may be observed in a mixed design ANOVA, and they include a within subjects main effect, a between subjects main effect, also known as a between groups main effect, and a between subjects by within subjects interaction effect. And I mentioned in the textbook that for most people conducting a mixed design ANOVA, they are principally interested, if not exclusively interested, in the between subjects by within subjects interaction. So here's an example. In the textbook, I talk about the study by Weatherall et al. who were interested in evaluating the efficacy of cognitive behavioral therapy as a treatment for anxiety. And they employed a classic experimental design. So half of the participants were randomly assigned to receive cognitive behavioral therapy and the other half of the participants were randomly assigned to receive discussion group therapy. So that is the between subjects element of the design, which had two levels, CBT versus discussion group therapy. All of the participants self-reported their anxiety levels on three occasions, pre-treatment, post-treatment, and follow-up. And that is a within subjects factor because the same participants are doing something repeatedly. And in this case, they reported their anxiety levels across three points in time, and that's the within subjects factor. So between subjects, whether you received cognitive behavioral therapy or discussion group therapy, and the within subjects main effect, time, which is pre-treatment, post-treatment, and follow-up. So the within subjects main effect answers the following question. Is there a statistically significant difference between the means across the levels of the within subjects factor, time, collapsed across the between subjects factor. So when I say collapsed across the between subjects factor, I mean irrespective or discounting whether a person was in the CBT group or in the discussion group therapy. So this is what the plot of means looks like. At pretest, this is the anxiety level, and that's the mean across the CBT and discussion group therapy group collapsed. So collapsed into one mean, CBT and discussion group therapy. And then post-test, irrespective of what treatment group you're in, if you collapse it across those two groups, what was the mean at post-test? And then follow-up. This is a within subjects main effect, these means. Next, a between subjects main effect is answering the following question. Is there a statistically significant difference between the group means collapsed across the within subjects factor? So irrespective of the time at which the person's anxiety was measured. And that's what this effect would look like in a bar chart. So CBT collapsing across pre-treatment, post-treatment, and follow-up, averaging those means into one mean for the CBT group, and the same thing, averaging the means only for those who received the discussion therapy. So two levels in the between subjects factor. Finally, the interaction. Does the magnitude of the difference between the means for a particular main effect, whether it's the between subjects or the within subjects, depend on the levels of the other dependent variable? So looking at this plot of means, you can think of the interaction as testing whether the difference between these two means, isolated at pretest, is the same magnitude and direction as the mean difference here. And then finally, you'd have to look at the difference between the means here. When there's no interaction, the direction and magnitude of the difference between the means will be equal within sampling fluctuations across all levels of the within subjects factor. So that's one way to think about the interaction. The other way is to think of it going across the within subjects factor, isolating across the groups. So is the magnitude of the difference between these two means equal to the magnitude of the difference between these two means? And then carry on is the magnitude of the difference between these two means equal to the magnitude of the difference between these two means. That is another way to think about the interaction. It's basically the flip side of the same coin, thinking about it as the difference between these means being equal in magnitude and direction, or thinking of it across these means. That is the interaction effect. So those are the three effects associated with a mixed design ANOVA. And typically, a researcher is really only interested in the interaction effect. So for example, in the Weatherall et al. study, they were particularly interested in establishing the validity of cognitive behavioral therapy. 
So they would want to show that the magnitude of the difference in a reduction sense of anxiety would be steeper for CBT than discussion group. And at least the numerical direction of the means looks like it is the case. But once you get to follow up, maybe not so much of a difference. And of course, one purpose of this chapter is to evaluate this very issue